so the empowerment uh, in the kingdom is by love and by the blood of Yeshua. And again, always with a focus on restoration, not division or destruction. In the old way, it's empowered by offense or justice from wounding. And, you know, again, all of us have um, parts of us that have been wounded. And that often is the fuel for what we call justice. Mm -hmm. And it's really coming from a place of wounding instead of the heart of the Father. And there's no condemnation because all of us have it in different places. And often we have blind spots where we don't see it, you know, and other people can see it. And that's why we need the body to be able to say, hey, you, you know, <laughs> I can feel some energy off of you that maybe, you know, a little more angsty, uh, you might want to just examine that. And, you know, we're open as a community for you even to say that to us. We just want you to know that, that the door is open because yeah, we, honey, we have um, some angst you want to talk to me about. <laughs> it's okay because <laughs> we're on this journey and that's how we love. We're learned to love. Yeah, yeah. And so then the overcomer part, the goal again is restoration. If there's anything else in my heart um, other than restoration, then I probably need to spend some more time focused on, you know, hearing the father's heart, um, getting that, you know, thing work through, kind of take the beam out of your own eye before you're trying to take the speck out of someone else's eye. The old way is the overcomer is the goal is to destroy the opposition. And that is never the heart of God to destroy. Yeah. I mean, and we're not saying that there are some things that need to be eliminated, but the thing is, as we do it with father, father's going to show us, you know, this thing needs to be restored this will eventually have to go. But we don't go into it with an attitude where our heart is misaligned with a heart of love. So, so identity, we, we've been talking about this a lot and we're going to keep talking about it. Key to kingdom, knowing who I am and how deeply I am loved. And then knowing who they are and how deeply they are loved. So if you can't get that second part, knowing who they are and how deeply they are loved, Again, it's probably better for you to kind of remove yourself from that environment, if you can, and step into the kingdom, step into the Father's heart, spend time with him so that you can see and understand how you are loved. Because if you can first see how deeply you are loved, then that's going to cause you to love Father. It's going to cause you to love yourself. And you have to love yourself in order to love others. Jesus said to love your neighbor as yourself, which indicates you actually love yourself. <laughs> not in a bad way, not in a conceited way, but you love yourself as the Father loves you. And that when you love yourself as the Father loves you, you realize, wow, the Father loves that person too. No matter how vile and nasty and evil they may seem to you right now, he loves them as well. Mm -hmm.